Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I had to come out of the room because we have a full room right now because we're just a couple days away from moving into our house, our new house. So we just closed today, actually like an hour ago. So it's very exciting. Um, and my mom is here, Nick's dad is here, Nick is here, Zell is here, and the girls and Lisa were all here in the room getting ready to all go down to the pool. Well, Nick and his dad and Zell have to go, but all the girls are gonna be going down to the pool soon. And we're having a really good time here. We're at the Lake Way Resort and Spot, and it's beautiful. And I highly recommend it if you have kids for a little getaway. Bye, Zell. <laughs> dancing to their music. I'm cracking up. There is a party, is that a pontoon? Mom, is that a pontoon? I don't know, a party boat in the lake. And Reese is just sitting here with her cookie dancing. Mommy said this one first. Let's do this oh, she can have the blue one if she wants that. Okay, never mind. Then. Is that thing called a pontoon right there? I think it is. Hey guys, we just did a Target drive up for some final stuff that we need for tonight. We are going to be sleeping on blow up mattresses and we're going to have like super minimal stuff today because the movers arrive early in the morning tomorrow. Nick and his dad are taking the trailer over um, with our stuff right now. We're doing our final walkthrough in like an hour and a half. And then we're closing right after the walkthrough. And then um, then Nick and his dad are gonna go get all the animals in the animal trailer and then bring those. And then we'll have everything there. And then the movers will come in the morning, like I said. Okay guys, we just closed on our house and we are so excited. We're about to pull into our driveway right now and I'm gonna be able to show you guys the first little sneak. Um, the Williams Habanero. It's really the Hacienda, but somebody called it a Habanero and it was so funny. Whoa! It's the Habanero. Over there, so this sweetie. is the second gate. We have two gates, which I love. They have this gate so their dogs can run around. Um, or now our dogs, Brazil. Brazil. They're gone. It's yours now. It's yours now. Woohoo! We're home. We're home. That's right. We're home now. Yay! We're home. Thank <laughs> you. 
film a little empty house tour right now so you guys can see the Hacienda Habanero new house whatever you want to call it so this is the view from the front porch they're unloading over there that it's the garage where they're unloading this beautiful statue right here we are obsessed with um, they have a lot of statues that they left for us and I love every single one of them so this is the driveway that you guys saw us drive down when we got here. Um, the reason that the yard is fenced in, um, that's our property as well on the other side of the fence, but this is fenced in for the dogs. So you can let the dogs out and you close that gate and the dogs can run around and not get out. Um, she has gorgeous plants that she has been taking amazing care of. The landscaping is be absolutely beautiful. There's another statue over there you can see. but. I mean, truly stunning plants that she has obviously put a lot of work into. And it's just, honestly, it's unbelievable. The view in the back is unbelievable. But on the other side of the fence, like I said, is still our property. The pump house is over here. We're on well water. Um, look at that tree. So that's the back patio right there. Here's the side of the house. I'm gonna take you guys through the front and then we'll do like a little loop. I'll try not to walk too fast so you can really take it all in. They left this swing. Okay, so here's the front entryway. I love these sconces right here. They're so pretty. And I actually thought the paint was more cream when we did the walkthrough, but it's actually the perfect color. This gorgeous wood detailing is everything. I love that. If you guys have been following a long time, you know how much I love that. Right when you walk in, it's the living room and it's got these terracotta floors, two steps, and then this really wide open living room. My mom has this exact same chandelier in her house. It's so pretty. This we gotta worry about the children. And then we have a stone fireplace on this side. Through that way is the kitchen, the dining room. I'll show you guys. Actually, when you step down right there, that's the dining room. Can you take a picture of this without the window over here? Okay. It's just hard because it has like backlight and it doesn't, like I have to go from an angle or the, the light ruins it. The lighting from the camera. Oh, I see. Um, this is the little wet bar. Is that what it's called, mom? Yes. So you've got like a little fridge, sink, storage for your glasses. You can lock the liquor cabinet. We don't have any liquor, honestly, but. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna try to get an angle. My mom wanted to open the window so you could see with all the windows open. Okay, so we'll start right here. This is an office, but it's also gonna be Cody's bedroom for a while. This will start as my office though. They've already got some like built-in office stuff and it's got a closet right here. They left the TV, I'm surprised. We didn't leave our TVs at, the, at our house. This is a little coat closet right here. So this is a powder bathroom and I love the lighting and the mirror is really pretty. When you look at it up close, the detailing is really pretty. We are gonna need to put a lamp. I'm pretty sure they had a lamp in here because these lights are not enough light. We would want more light. There is one up here but it doesn't turn on, so we're probably gonna, I'll have Nick figure that out later. Okay, this is the master. 
The master's got wood floors and this gray paint and it opens up as well to the back patio, which is really nice. Hey, they left us the two boys. I know. I didn't think they were gonna leave that. This then we have a, a lot of cool statues that I didn't even know. I know there's beautiful statues. This um, fireplace in the master and they left the TV, which surprises me. So this bathroom is a little bit confusing. So the way it works, okay. So this is a true his and hers. So this entire side is hers. This entire side is his. Okay, so this is the her side. So this is my sink and vanity and mirrors. Oh, I do love the lighting. I think those are so pretty. And then this is the hers water closet. Little toilet in there. This is the her bath with these big windows which you already have so much privacy, you don't even need to pull those blinds down when you take a bath. Here is from this angle. It's got extra storage behind here. And that top one, that's a laundry pull out so you can throw your laundry in and then your laundry will hold underneath there. Storage, storage behind that mirror, storage behind that mirror. This is, it's like a sliding mirror and it goes to the her closet so this is my closet all of this is mine oh they left wow they left a safe i didn't realize they were going to leave that um so here is my closet cute lighting So pretty um okay so here oh nick must have turned the fan on from this side right when you walk in it is the his toilet <laughs> the his bath um this is his sink and storage he's got his own little laundry thing right there we are gonna have to change out the carpet in here because the carpet is stained, but that's really not a big deal. Um, honestly, men with muddy boots, like that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> but this is Nick's closet with his little storage, and it looks like there's a little attic up there above the master. Here's the shower. The shower is in between both, and it's got this cute little stone floor, subway tile, handheld shower head on that side and then a I guess it's called a rain shower on that side okay so that concludes the master paint what so she's been working very hard she gave me this <laughs> that's cute it's gonna be reese's room for now and then cody will eventually share it with reese so they've got this big closet to share and this is their bathroom they've also got the same thing with the laundry shoot right there I don't know if this is quartz or granite, but it's pretty whatever it is. I like the gray cabinetry. And here's the shower with just white tile. Okay, so if you come down this way, these little stairs, the wall texture is kind of hard to get it to focus, but I really like that texture. So this, Skyla's excited. So this is Skyla and Adeline's room. This is their closet. This is Cody. We have to share with, her, with Cody because it's a bedroom. <laughs> so here's Skyla and Adeline's room. They have white paint. This is their bathroom. I don't know what this is. I, I think it's for like a little TV. I could be wrong, but they've also got 
a big laundry thing in their room. A lot of storage and same type of shower with the bath. Okay, this is the kitchen. Okay, so the pantry is right here and it automatically, the light turns on when you open it. It's not as big as our last pantry, but that would be a lot to ask. What's this, Nick? Is that a trash can? It's a uh, cool compactor, like the one that pushes it down. Oh, okay. Trash everything. compactor. Okay. <laughs> you open it and everything. Is this a cool kitchen? A cool kitchen? Reese found the lazy Susan. Yes. This is so much water. Pretty view above the sink. So oh my God. There, I, I think there are internet people. Oh my God. Reese can open it. Oh my God. I know. I have them at my house. They don't look exactly like that. But no. that's what I think they are. No bunches. Okay, so through the kitchen is this little entryway with a little, that's cute. I wonder if there's storage in there. Yeah, it does open storage. And then I think these are probably just storage closets. Yeah, storage closet. Storage closet. Here's the, oops, ouch. Okay, so this is the laundry room through here. The washer and dryer will go there when they come in, and the uh, fridge will go here. And then it does have uh, cabinets over here and a sink, and that's pretty cool. Plenty of room. I'm not sure what goes here though. Oh, I guess they were just hanging stuff there. So when you come up the stairs, there's this cedar closet. There's storage back there, but I love the smell of cedar, so when you walk in here. <laughs> and smell the cedar, it's like being in a sauna. I love it. Okay, so here's the guest suite right here. The view is so incredible. That's one of my favorite things about this guest suite is they have this gorgeous view out here. Okay, so this part of the guest suite is gonna be changed eventually, not right now, but as of right now, they just have this tub here, like freestanding. Um, it does have a sprayer, so you could technically put like a curtain up, you know, like a circular one and use that as a shower as well. But eventually we're just gonna renovate that into being just a shower. And then they've got this little vanity that matches the, um, it matches the bath. So the design on it, what does it say? Lentist Ed Editions Cooler. So it's just very floral. <laughs> and it matches the bottom of the tub. And then they've got, this is crazy, there's a bidet in here. So this bathroom has a bidet and a regular toilet. I guess this is storage, yeah. So that's the little water closet in the, uh, the guest suite. So I guess the lighting is what makes the walls sometimes look cream because it looks more cream up here, but I guess there could be different paint, but. So that concludes the inside of the house. So now I will take you guys outside and we'll walk around the side.
outside so you can see outside. Oh, Nick got my plants They're right there. All right, so this is the garage right here. Looks like they're unloading stuff into the garage. Okay, so it's got a built-in um, grill and they left the table and chairs here. That's a cool little fish sculpture thing. So down here is Twinkle's barn and it has a horse statue right next to it which is so pretty. The view out there is so gorgeous. Okay, so here's the back patio. So like I said earlier, this fence is just to keep in the pets, but all the way back up there is our property as well. We also asked them to leave this furniture right here because there's so many different sitting areas that you need a lot of furniture to fill this back patio. Okay, and now we're back to this side of the house where I started and showed you guys. Hey,